Hey there, everyone. So, Petapon and Sauce Bands. Uh, hi. Hey. Uh, what's going on, you may ask? Valid question. Um, we're having a special event. We haven't had one of those in quite a while. And, uh, so, as you know, uh, basically, okay, I guess this is the part where I just explain things. As you know, for a while, we've been doing the thing where we spin for, an a for games, and it's a lot of fun. Everyone votes, and, you know, it's a blast. It's a good time. I genuinely think it's a pretty good time. Um, except, you know, like, uh, we've experimented with the format a little bit, including... One of the things we've experimented about, I forgot to open this, but there we go, is the uh, advantages. You know, like, me, because, you know, I've always wanted to give a second chance to games that do well. You know, it's like uh, runner-up and second runner-up. At the time, I gave advantage on the big wheel, but I sort of kind of removed that because I thought it was of a bother a little bit. Uh, but I still been keeping track of those. You can see it here. We got like the more latest wheels in there. But I'm not doing anything with it. So like, what am I doing, right? Like, like if I'm not doing anything with it, why am I still keeping track with it? So I want to stop. So going forward, I will not keep track of runner-ups and second runner-ups. Because I have an idea of how, a new idea of how to deal with that going forward in future events. Fantastic. However, I still want to do something with these. Uh, like we got this big old list of games, some of which have been waiting for a long time for something to happen. And I figured out what that something is going to happen. Be. We are going to have a special event. We are going to have a mega poll that contains every one of these games. Uh, we're going to be using the ranked voting website, as always. And there you are going to choose up to five games from this list. And you're going to put them in order, because the order matters, because it's still going to be ranked voting. Uh, but, you know, up to five at once. And, um... And we'll see what happens. I'm making this now. Uh, I am building this event now ahead of time because I am going to give one full month for people to think this through. I know some people are just going to want to vote immediately, and that's fantastic. But I also know that some people are going to want to have the time to think about it. And so I am giving you all the time to think about it. There's gone, I think it's like around 30, 14 here, there's 14 here, and a 19, I think, here. That doesn't seem right, there's something like that. So, you know, like, like around 30, basically, 30 games, choose five, up to five. You can just vote for one if you want. Uh, it's weird, but, I mean, I would get it. Uh, but, yeah, so, yeah, so, yes. And the way it's going to work, because it's 30 games... Number one, two, and three are going to be picked. I am going to play number one, number two, and number three. And, and to give one extra little chance, my R zone pick for this time is I am going to choose between fourth, fifth, and sixth place. So, whatever game they get voted on, number one, two, and three, get vote it will be played in either fourth fifth or sixth i am going to choose amongst those three and that's going to give us four games four games chosen at once that's a lot and so you might think well hmm okay but you know and then you just kind of like uh -huh, because you know what about what about a about great you know the patapon thing you, know, you want to be king or queen or fey Sure, that's a choice. Those have royals, you know, but that's the point, right? So, 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 since that's four, I am also going to pick two royals. So, that's going to give us a total basic... This is basically going to boil down to two events in one. 
and it's going to be first royal I pick, then, you know, number one winner, number two winner, royal number two, and then number three winner, and then the R zone pick between four, five, or six. Uh, that's so we're going to be selecting six games. Like, amongst these, there is a real possibility that Imario wins. So, in which case, uh, yeah, that'll just add to the A side, and that's fine. Or maybe there will not be a single Mario-related winner, which is why I feel the need to do this ahead of time and the need to do this like this. Raukau, no one actually cares about all of this. Yeah! Probably, but I do, and I'm the one running the show, so here we are. Now everyone is forced to listen to me blather around about this complete and other nonsense. That's right, you're stuck. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's going to be weird. I'm sure some people are not going to like the fact there's a lot of games and all that, but this is a one-time deal. This is gonna happen this one time. That's it. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Um. So yeah. So apologies to the second royal because you're gonna have to wait a little bit. But that's not really any worse. And when we used to choose like a whole bunch ahead of time, so you know, if you look at it that way. Um. Yeah. That's that's where I'm standing. That's what I want to do right now. And we're going to start with a start. We are going to start by picking the freshest two um, person at the top. The two royals. We're going to do that. Going to... Uh, so, reminder. You want to be a royal? Fantastic. Uh, there's a form for it. I'm going to try to remember to put the Google form in 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 this thread just in case. If I don't, it's in it's in the post, the pin post with a potato. Um, it's a form. Put in your username that will appear on the list, and then you can put down your games, anything, no additional notes, any other info. Uh, you it can be edited after the fact. Um, very simple process, I think. But I don't know. I don't know how it is on the outside. Uh, but 200 and something people have figured it out, so it can't be that complicated. Yeah! Here we go! First person. I'm picking today. I don't know when your game's gonna get played. Like, I have no idea how... <laughs> Mega Man's not gonna take a long time, but... Went! Ooh, that's a long-term name. I, I, yeah, no, Went. Fun fact, Went was the third in the, was like in third place in the, in the whole, in the big lists. So, uh, you've been waiting. So there you go. I don't know what your picks are. I'm going to check in the form later today. But Went, you are the first royal. Then, even then, after that, we're going to go ahead and celebrate with another. Here we go. The music didn't fully reset, so it does a thing, and now we're going somewhere, everything. I don't get it, but that's okay. Person is... Nathan is bored. Yo! Okay, yeah, you're gonna have to wait a little bit more. Man, Nathan is bored is one of those very long-time people. Like, you've been commenting, like, forever, I'm pretty dang sure. Uh, so, you did it! I'm going to look at your choices, and I'm going to choose one out of three. That's how it works. So, Wet and Nathan is bored. If you want to change your pick, normally, like I said, you can edit them. But now that you got bopped on the wheel, if you're going to change your mind, contact me. Don't just change it in the form, because I'm going to be deleting your uh, answer pretty soon. Uh, after I note down the result. So, if you, if you want to change something, get in touch with me. You know how. Discord's probably the best and quickest way. Um, yeah. Went to Nathan this board. One is gonna be royal eventually. <laughs> I don't know how long Rain World is, and I don't know, like, how long in the game I am. That's why it's so hard. Like, I got an idea of when Robot's gonna end, but Rain World, no clue. 
And uh, the games afterward, like like I said, like like one of them I know is going to be about two week long. The other I have no clue, but is also not supposed to be super long. So you know, I try just to be safe. So went to Nathan. <laughs> Keep repeating myself. But here you go. Congrats. You were lucky. That's uh, congratulating you for. People do that. People congratulate when you win the lottery. This is just like a very very low stake, way better odds lottery. That's what it boils down. Why? I, uh, I'm being weird today. But yes, now it's the big thing. I don't know how to handle this. Here's all the games. Like, do I have something to say about all of them? How do we handle this? Because I feel like looking at... <sighs> looking at trailers does not make sense but we can look at like 10 seconds of trailers or some kind of punishment i looked at this apparently eventually wow near remember that game i want to play that game so much I often think about the, the issue is that it is literally hundreds of hours long so i know some people me. want me to play near just be Perhaps aware it is a long game all. it is a big <laughs> game this will take over a slot for like a season easily. We are talking Kill. Distorted Travesty this 3, but Entreaty and Wayhorn here. So take that into consideration. Devil May Cry is just such a cool game. So the game I actually want to play is DMC 3, but this is such a bad thriller. But you know, I got to play things in order. And, and the first game is also super fantastic. Once upon a time, I wasn't off, sure face. if that we would work and find out the hard way. Except, God Hand went very well. Oh so I feel like if God Hand will go well, DMC is gonna go even better. It's action, like, like character game. It's super cool, super fun. I want to replay it. I haven't played in like 15 years. I want this chance. It's Kirby! Kirby Triple Deluxe. Wow, he has ability. Is it pretty good? Yeah, he's got a rhinosaur horn. Apparently, what? That's violent. Uh, I sometimes I play Kirby. Kirby games are always a ton of fun. This is 3DS. I'm, I'm gonna be real. I don't know how well that plays. Um, in Citra, I think yeah for for 3DS. I don't know how well it plays. But if it went to a poll before, I'm assuming it works well, right? Oh geez, a 3D effect, watch out. All right, this thing is impossible to find. If there's a trailer on YouTube, I don't know where. But just look at this game. It just kind of speaks for itself. It's a complete shit post of a game and it looks so good. Kind of reminds me a little bit in vibe to like crazy too. Like it just looks super weird, but like in such a good way. Apparently there's a, not a remake, but like a, a pack from Magic Wii like collection of games that plays in like in widescreen and all that. So I would probably do that. Anyway, look at a trailer if you can find it anywhere. Um, if you want a very short game, Kirby's Pinball Land is pretty short. <laughs> like, I feel like the long play is like an hour or less. Uh, it looks super fun. There is a soft all the Kirby going on. Kirby? There's soft all the Kirby here, you see? And I want to play it. It's a really weird game. It's pretty old, but, you know, it looks really fun. And I love pinball. There's wraparound. The trailer is 30 seconds long. It's a fan trailer, probably. I don't know what it is. So this playthrough was two hours, but it's like it mentions points. So I don't know what that means. Another special world one and two are two like uh, relatively difficult hacks, but not like super hard, but you know, normal hard. Uh, eight levels each, which are basically just a little bit of a riff on the special world. Uh, the first one is completely vanilla, while two is a little bit less, more, it's less Virginia, uh, yes, less Virginia, and more another state. I don't know why, how vanilla became a state. Uh, but yes, um, I think these look pretty rad, you know, just some solid Mario business, some classic Mario business. 
Uh, mind you, this would go after playing nonsense, but I mean, I don't know what people want to see or play or taste. Uh, but I, 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 I genuinely like, like, I think these just look like really solid little play, and it should be a lot of fun, I think. Yeah, E3 trailer, here we go. Silent Hill 1. A lot of people have wrote down. Hey, I would love to see you play a natural horror game. Here's a natural horror game. Play, uh, PlayStation. Silent Hill, the first one for PlayStation. It is a classic. Doesn't like really do like the 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 like the the, the jump scare thing and more the dread thing. And that does sound a lot more fun. Uh, I touched it uh, by a friend making me play the game. That was 20 years ago. And like I didn't play the whole thing. Like I just played a little bit of the early, like of the early game, until our time was up. I guess. Want me see me play horror? Here's your chance to make it happen. This trailer, it, it doesn't say much. Whoa, an indie Metroidvania. Never played that genre before. Well, here it is. Axiom Verge, on the verge of the axiom. That's a dumb thing to say, that doesn't mean anything, but I did it. I said that, you can't stop me. It looks like a genuinely really, really solid um, Metroidvania. I feel like it showed up a few times, this is not the first time this uh, trailer has been shown here. Well, here it is again. Axum Verge! I'm gonna be real. Rayman was ported on like 20 different consoles. Hi, I don't know which version I'm going to play if it wins, but I have loved Rayman uh, Origins and Legend, and so I feel like playing the original is kind of a, a natural, uh, you know, idea. I am aware that the game is stupidly difficult and, like, kind of mean. But hey, I mean, that's just how it is, right? That's how video games were at the time. I want to play this. Like, this looks genuinely super interesting. I don't know what version it'll be, though, if it wins. I'll... We'll have the, that discussion another time. Author Blues made a Super Mario World randomizer. And I think it could be very interesting to play. I'm not... I mean, it's probably going to be weird. So here's the thing, like, like Smoo is kind of a pretty... Please don't, you just know I will. <laughs> uh, like, 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 I'm aware that... Okay, let's re restart that statement. Super Mario World has an important part in my channel. That is undeniable. Um, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> it is so i feel like like playing a randomizer would make a lot of sense and i think it would be a lot of fun of course the issue with this is that there's a possibility that randomized smoo might not be as interesting as a full thing what am i talking about no, it might not be as interesting as a full ROM hat, but I think that it should be fun. And it'd be probably be a relatively short little tromp. It's like a stomp and a romp. <laughs> I don't know, but I think it would be. And uh, I think it would be a lot of fun. I, I, I think it would be. Uh, you can switch around enemies. I mean, that would be, I would have to do that, I feel like. Because if it was just randomly, just the stages, that that would not make any sense. But like, going full chaos and just, like, activate every single thing, uh, I think that would make the most sense. And um, that's what we would do. I think playing this would make a lot of sense. Hey, Jet Set Radio! I'm still not sure what the game is about. <laughs> Like, you're going around, and you're doing things, but, like, of course. Like, it's sort of like quasi... Uh, Tony Hawk, skater, like, okay, pretty good, but do you show gameplay? There you go. So you go around, you do stuff, and then you vandalize, and it's always fun to vandalize. Uh, and uh, I think there was a guy from that game, and, uh, no, yeah, there was like a full town. 
in, a, in, 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 in Sega All-Star Racing. So I'm a little bit familiar with it. Everyone's dancing. Jet Set Radio, it's a lot of style, and the style does look fantastic. Val the Story is a game I've played before, and it ended catastrophically because, one, I put the game in, like, mega expert mode, in spite of never played a game before, and my point distribution through leveling was a... Yeah, Abyssal City, Abyssal point placement in my leveling, more like it. So I want to give the game another shot. I would be using, like I played as Swordman guy here, I would play as one of the other characters, and uh, I would accept a person to guide me in my, in my, at least give me nudges in my leveling placement, so as not to basically get myself stuck with behind just impossible damage walls. I do want to give the game another chance, and I am ready to do so. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking to Sonic Frontier one uh, again, because it has copyrighted music, so nuts of that. Sonic Frontiers, it's a 3D one, it's the open world one. Yeah, want to see me play an open world game? And also a Sonic game? Hey, three thumbs up. <laughs> This game just looks so cool! Yeah, I would probably be bad at it, but you know, the only way to get good at something, the only way to get not bad at something is get into it and learn it and master it. I want to play Rhythm Necrodancer. I know that rhythm isn't my forte. I don't care. I want to do it. I want to play this game. It's so cool. The music is so rad. It's a roguelike, but it has like actual like levels and like a thing that makes sense. It's fine. I do. I do. I I don't know any of y'all, but that's fine. All right, so those were the high advantage games. Uh, I've decided that them having high advantage means they get this little, uh, the this little treatment with with the trailers. Low advantage, we just get to talk about them. That is how. This will... Okay, sure. Zombies in My Labor is a top-down Super Nintendo game and Genesis game. I probably played a Super Nintendo. Super rad, super hard. I played that game a lot as a kid. Uh, rented it very often. Super fun. It's pretty funny. Uh, it's a really, really good time. Uh, I would like to play that. Anodyne is a odd Zelda-like from what I recall, a top-down little adventure game, but which hides some... All I know, I know very little because I absolutely want to play that game, like, super absolutely. Of all the games in this list, probably one of the most, honestly. Uh, really, really, really cool game. And, um, yeah, no, like, uh, I wish it was in the high advantage so we could look at a trailer. But believe me, look, look one up for yourself. Find it, look at it, please. <laughs> Maybe. Rock Force! Rock Force is a Mega Man fan game I played a thousand years ago. It has had an up updates since then, including more playable characters. And uh, so remember how there was Doc Robot equivalents? Well, there's like an alternate set of Doc Robot equivalents that I have never played because they didn't exist back when I played. So that's a thing. Environmentation, uh, environmental Station Alpha is a uh, Metroidvania, and in Metroidvania, a lot of people seem to praise and love a lot, and have just nothing but great things to say about. So, please note that Grapple Dog. It's a game about Grapple Dogs, a platformer where you use a wire to move around. I've never played a game, <laughs> never played a game with <laughs> 2D platformer with a grapple in this in this channel. They've had a lot of those. I guess if you want to keep the chain going, now's your chance. Udengain X is a Toho flavored Mega Man X like. It's like a Mega Man X game. It's but you use Toho's. You play as a bunny girl. Spyro 3! Remember when I played Spyro 1 and 2 thousands of years ago? And I said I I, I want to do the original PS1 trilogy? Spyro 3 is here. I haven't played it yet. How to Beat Your Cat is a puzzle game. Like physics, TD, sprite, puzzle game. 
that game will be very, very, very short if it wins. Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, a spin-off of the Curse of the Moon, not the 2D one. That's a sprite-based one. Uh, uh, the, I probably would need to do two loops of it, but like it's super rad. The sprite work is fantastic. Uh, I saw like some of the bosses in motion in the trailers in the past, and it looks super rad. It's not a 3D, like it's not the the polygon one. It's not the main one. This one, the spin-off. But it's been on the polls so many times, and it's I always either second or third place. Will it be able to maintain that? I don't know. Drill Dozer is a action game. It's called Drill Dozer. The person is in one of the smashes as a trophy. Uh, I don't know enough about the game to be able to say anything here without seeing a trailer. I am so sorry. Adeline is a game that rips on old, like, Golden Age arcade games, like, one screen games. And I could do a bunch of little things. Shinobi non grata is also a reference to old games. It's like a boss battle game, ninja game. It looks super rad. It looks super, like, absolutely awesome. Downpur is a super cute looking platformer use, uh, featuring a cat. That's what I remember. <laughs> Somber, uh, one of those silhouette games whose style I love. Uh, after the event where it won third place uh, ended, uh, I was I was taught that the game is like one hour long. So that is also a super short game. Gao Cow, why are you putting super short games in this? Because I don't I don't discriminate by game length. A game can take over the whole slot forever, or it can take the slot for two days. To me, I see them all as equivalent. Maybe it's wrong of me. I don't know. Downwell, I feel like we have seen that game very recently here in the event station. Uh, downward, roguelite, but like very action based, really cool looking. You go down until you can go down no more. And the film mechanism, a sweet little puzzle platformer, looks like a Game Boy game, and you do like safe state shenanigans. And there you go. Those are the game among Switch. You must choose. Take your time. Like I said, there is a month to make your selection. Number one, two, and three. They're going to get played. I will choose one extra game amongst four, fifth, and sixth place. So one of those three. Also going to get played. Every other game just now becomes a regular game in the list. And they're not going to have any more advantages... That's done. Uh, it is a, a lyric, a relic of the past. There we go. Went and Nathan is bored. Y'all, two of you, still congratulations. And uh, let's see where all this leads us. Thank you for indulging me in my nonsense for way too much time now and i hope this still can continue for way more too much time